Hello, welcome to another edition of Paladone TV. You know what we do, we make merchandise, gifts, gadgets and collectibles for games, TV and films. And we also have an excellent range of own brand products. So to celebrate Rick and Morty Series 4 release, which is coming out in November this year, we wanted to show off our Rick and Morty range to you. We got so many people who work here who are fans of the show, and that just makes when you're designing product and being creative, you get to make some really cool stuff. And before we get started, I just want to give Matt a little hug because I've missed him. We've oh. had a few videos without him, so. Bring it in, bro. Yeah. Bring it in. I've missed oh. you. Never go away again. What product are we going to be looking at first, James? The first product is this. The Mr. Me Seeks travel mug. We have two expressions. One, two. Pre-coffee, post-coffee. Mm. Of course, if you're fans of the show, you know who Mr. Me Seeks is, and he's one of the most iconic characters. You've got a nice double-walled stainless steel travel mug. It keeps your hot drinks hot. It can keep your cold drinks cold, if that's what you're into. It'll keep your lukewarm drinks lukewarm. Got a nice lid there, which will stop the coffee from spilling out everywhere. That is it. Moving on. Do you want to see what I've got over here? I do. Wow. Do you know how a plumbus is made? I mean, I've got a pretty good idea. Yes, I have watched that scene far too many times. Go for oh, it. Oh, don't test me on yeah, it. Yep, go. Smooth out the schleem. Nope, you take the dingle bot. Then you smooth out the schleem. If you haven't got the idea already, this is what the mug is. It's a step-by-step -step instruction mug on how to make a plumbus. It's basically the scene from the show. We've taken it and we've made it into a step-by-step -step instruction manual, effectively. With the plumbus instructions mug, it does teach you how to make a plumbus, which is what we did here at Paladone. Mm -hmm. Follow those step-by-step -step instructions. You can have a product like this. Or don't follow them. Just buy them from us. Give it a Google. That's good. Mm. And there you have it, you've got the plumbus shaped mug with its own little lids. Now we're not going to talk too much about it because Alex has already done a video about this mug. So if you want to see that video, which you absolutely should, check it out in the link. Next, come on, we've got so much product to get through. Oh, lovely sliding. First one to open it wins. You guys know we rock the heat change mugs at Paladone. We uh, rock them. We absolutely rock them. And we rocked them for Rick and Morty. So it's a pretty cool effect. You go from single Musiques to many me seeks. With this one, you've got a crazy Rick and Morty style pattern, but underneath you've got Rick and Morty stepping through their portal in an alien world. Going into the portal on the back, coming out of the portal on the front. That is attention to detail. Stylish, cool looking mug here. And then this mug, I really like it because it's got a very good storytelling element. We yes. all know what happens in the Mr. Me seeks episode. One turns to two, turns to four, turns to eight, until you've got a whole army of Mr. Me seeks, which is not what you want. One more piece of drinkware, and it is the pickle. The pickle. Rick. pickle. The pickle, the pickle Rick, I'll let you go. The Pickle Rick shaped glass. You've got Pickle Rick sculpted as the glass. You've got a nice big goblet. You're gonna be, this is a statement piece. If someone sees you drinking out of this, they're gonna know, A, not to mess with you. You've got a massive glass in your hand. And B, you're a huge Rick and Morty fan, which I guess we all are. And if you're watching this and you haven't seen the show, oh, I just realized I said that was the last piece of drinkware. It wasn't. Rick spends most of his time drinking in the show. So we've obviously paid homage to that. Rick's very own hip flask. I'm very proud of our packaging, I think, Simon did a very good job art directing the packaging. I just want to get a little uh, shout out to Simon. It's very tight. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay, I, was, I thought I was, you were kidding. It's because I was squeezing it. <laughs> <laughs> we designed this to look as if it was Rick's very own hip flask from the series. So as you can see on the front, we have Wubba Lubba Dub Dub scrawled in a nice sketchy style as if Rick himself wrote it is his favorite catchphrase. On the top, we've got some kind of unknown liquid secreting from around the rim, which is super gross. And on the back we have, if found return full, to Rick Sanchez of Dimension C137. Oh yeah, for the younger viewers watching this yes. video, don't drink, but buy this product. <laughs> oh, we do a lot of these at Paladone. They're really effective, they're really popular. It is, of course, the Rick and Morty gadget decals. Regular and glow-in-the-dark stickers. Stick this on your phone, stick this on your laptop, stick this on any gadget you've got, your games console, your fridge. So those of you who've seen the show know how absolutely wacky and funky and crazy it is. The guys at Adult Swim put together a style guide showing off the most insane graphics to really embody what Rick and Morty is about. You got some crazy psychedelic graphics there. That's one of the glow-in-the-dark sheets. I've got the other one here, full of iconic characters. You've got the Rick and Morty title there. My favorite character here, Noob Noob. I love these kind of 80s style, retro, psychedelic, computerized, uh, it's great. Next, onto our lighting, we have, this is my favorite product in the range. It's pretty fantastic. It is the Rick Ship, Ship USB, USB light. light. Yes. Nailed it. Get out of the box, man. 
<clears throat> there we are, look at this. We've got this fully poseable USB cable, which means that it's strong enough to hold the light upwards in any position that you choose. So this plugs into a USB slot. I've got a battery pack here. You can plug this into absolutely anything, your computer, your laptop, your PlayStation, your Xbox. Rick Ship, you've seen the ship in countless episodes. You know that he's made it out of just parts. You've got the dustbin thrusters here on the back that he's made. You've got the taped down torches that he's got on the front. We've left the best bit of detail for last. And you can only see this detail when it's plugged in. So let's turn those lights off and plug this in, shall we? Who's gonna do it? Two, one. Yeah, you, you did go. it. I'm so proud of you. Well Thank done. You. Imagine this is your laptop, plug it in and it turns on straight away. And the big reveal is Ta-da, Rick and Morty sat in the front of the ship. You've got the dome emitting a nice light from the LED inside, but not only that, his little torches on the front shine as well, which I think is bright enough for you to use as an actual practical light. But I've got this if reading. I'm working in the dark room or if I'm reading. If you ever want to like write down your favorite episodes. Yeah, or write a list of your favorite people you work with. Matt, Matt. We got more, we got more to show off, so let's put this away. So how do we turn the lights on? I know turning them off, you click. Do you have to make like a, a raspberry noise sneeze. with our mouth? You sneeze. I mean, that's gonna be really hard to do. No, you got this. <laughs> ah, oh, it worked. That's amazing. <laughs> Clicks and sneezes, who would have thought? This is the portal gun keyring light. Now everyone knows how Rick gets about all these different dimensions and uses his portal gun. Have you ever wanted to carry that portal gun around with you? Now you can. But not only is it a portal gun keyring, it's got a light up function. So let's turn those lights off. Done. So with pressing the little button on the back, what happens? Let's take a look. You've got the actual portal projecting out of the keyring. Absolutely brilliant product uh, attached to your keyring. It is very small though. Size matters. Size matters. <laughs> That actually worked. I'm not sure you're ready for this. This might be one of the biggest products we've done here at Paladin. One of the biggest and best. Here it is, the portal gun light. So let's take a closer look at this packaging. You can see the products there on the front. It's compatible with tabletops and with walls. So you can have this standing upright or you can have this hung up on your wall. And here, this absolute beauty is. Can we get a spin here? Thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud of this product. I actually am so happy with how it turned out. So you've got the portal print on the bottom, which acts as the stand or the wall mount. And then you've got Rick's hand holding onto his portal gun. Actual size, may I add. You've got a lot of detail going on here inside the little fluid container. You've got the screen, which shows C137, which is the dimension he's from. And the dimension number is also on the little keyring portal light, isn't it? Oh, actually, yes it is. Should we show the little keyring portal light next to it oh, just yeah. to show the size comparison? Baby portal light, daddy portal light. Not only does this product look absolutely amazing as it is stood up on the table or whether it's hung up on the wall, it's a functioning light. It's got six different light functions. Six functions. Let's turn those lights off one more time. One last time. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Yes. Ah, there you go. We're going to show it off as it is here, as a tabletop lamp. Remember, you can hang this up on your wall and it will work exactly the same. Again, just like our keyring lights, turn this on. We push the button. Are we ready? I'm ready. Number one. So you got a nice functional light out the front there, which uh, you can shine on uh, your surface or project up onto your ceiling. And you get a nice decorative glow coming from the... We're not actually sure what that's called, so should we just call it Gary? The Gary is kind glowing. Of glows lovely Definitely. in and out. Function number two, both lights on, no more dancing LEDs. Number three, get rid of that decorative glow so you've just got the functional light out the top. Yeah, bye Gary. Number four, Gary's back doing a little dance on his own so you can have that as a nice decorative glow in your room as a nice decorative piece. You wanna see another one? Standard Gary. Yeah, more of a mood light with just Gary on. And then finally, you've got both the lights on the front and the Gary doing a nice little uh, dance. Back. Cycling through on the front, as you can see there. Is that all the functions, all six? That's all six of the functions. So this light is USB and battery powered, but when plugged into USB, which obviously has more power, it has more functions as a result. So I think this is a brilliant product for any Rick and Morty fan. It's a, it's a real statement piece. Yeah. It's a hero product and we're very proud to have made it. And we really hope you want to buy it because it's pretty fantastic. It is awesome. And now we've got to turn the lights back on and I've run out of ideas on how to do that. Just push this button. There you there go. go. It works. Well done. God, it's bright. All the products we've shown you in today's video aren't all the products that we've done with the Rick and Morty brand. We've done some icon lights focusing on four of the key characters of the show. We've also done a video on that, which you can check out here. And as you can see here, we have a lovely assortment of enamel pin badges. And here are some more. 
six. There's six to collect in total. And that's not it. You've got plenty to look forward to because we've got more Rick and Morty products in the pipeline currently being developed. So watch this space. So if you want to find any of these products or any other Paladin products, then check out the website or just Google them. And if you like this video, then hit the like button. And if you'd like to see some more Paladin videos, then uh, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to get notifications of when Paladin posts videos, then hit the alert bell button and we'll jump through a portal and scream at you until you watch it. Wow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>